Hello and welcome to How Possible. Before watching this video, subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos and also hit the bell icon to get free notifications. Have your favorite pair of stilettos and peep toes taken a back seat for a while now? And it's because of an ingrown toenail? Only those who have an ingrown toenail can tell how painful and annoying it can be. It not only affects your movement and causes pain, but in some cases it might also need surgical intervention. When the corners of your toenail grow into the skin right next to it, it results in an ingrown toenail. However, those with sweaty feet, like most teenagers, are more prone to developing them. Hence, it's best to get rid of it soon. Let's find out how to get rid of an ingrown toenail at home. Soak in water. This remedy will help in calming down the pain. Most ingrown toenails can be treated by soaking the foot in warm, soapy water. Mix one to two tablespoons of unscented Epsom salts into one quart of warm water and soak your foot for 15 minutes at a time. Do this several times a day for the first few days. Always dry your foot completely after soaking. Soaking your ingrown or infected toe will help relieve the pain and pressure of infection. It can also help dry out pus from your toe. Soak in apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar can be your best bet to get rid of ingrown toenails. Its powerful anti-inflammatory properties can help reduce the pain and inflammation, and its antimicrobial properties can protect the ingrown toenail from bacterial or fungal infections. For this remedy, all you need is a cotton ball and ACV. Take a cotton ball and dip it in some apple cider vinegar. Apply the soaked cotton ball directly to your infected toenail and repeat this process twice a day. Pack the area. You can try this remedy with dental floss or cotton. Wedge a small piece of wet cotton, such as a part of a cotton ball, under the corner of your ingrown nail. This will help lift the nail off the skin. Soak your toe and change the piece of cotton each day until the nail grows out and can be trimmed. Well, be aware of the fact that it might intensify the pain, but you'll get rid of the toenail. You can also try soaking the cotton ball in alcohol to reduce the risk of bacteria. Antibiotic ointment. There is the option to apply an ointment for a week. These ointments are prescription only, and we recommend Kenicom ointment. The American Family Physician Journal, AAFP, recommends either a topical antibiotic ointment or a steroid ointment, and Kenicom contains all of these. But there are plenty of other options. Unfortunately, they're not available over the counter, although you can buy hydrocortisone ointment which is the closest to the recommended treatments in AAFP. Just put the antibiotic ointment on the tender area and bandage the toe. Wear proper shoes. You probably already know that shoes play an important role in protecting feet and keeping them safe. But were you aware that ill-fitting footwear can cause a host of issues for your lower limbs? It's true. Shoes shouldn't be either too loose or too tight. When you wear a pair that's too loose, you're at risk for blisters or biomechanical issues from a heel that isn't securely held. When shoes are too tight, your risk of creating a painful ingrown toenail will also increase. Choose reliable footwear. Consider wearing open-toed shoes or sandals until your toe feels better. Pain Reliever Over-the-counter pain relievers such as acetaminophen, Tylenol, ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin IB, others, and naproxen sodium or Aleve may help ease the toe pain. A Toe Protector For ingrown toenails, a toe protector gives a shielding fence. As rings that fit all around the affected region or as a shield for the complete toe. The toe protectors are accessible in the market. To assist in soothing the toenails for simple pruning, certain brands of toe protectors, like Dr. Scholl's, till the ingrown toenails reduced, follow the treatment as advised on it. A toe brace. The ingrown toenail brace is planned on the big toe. With modifications, it can be used to treat ingrown toenails on other toes or even fingernails. It's a reinforced composite strip, so you cover it to the surface of your toenail. The ingrown toenail brace acts like a spring, gently straightening and lifting each side of the toenail, reducing its pressure against the skin. See a doctor. You need to consult your physician after trying every method, but some people use antibiotics in order to reduce the pain and swelling of their problem. If you want to take any decision for your ingrown toenail problem, 
then you need to speak with your health care provider because taking suggestions from your family physician will help you a lot while making the decision for your problem. As your physician is aware of all the medical conditions that you've suffered, and he will give you suggestions based on that. Using antibiotics without having knowledge about it may lead to severe side effects, so consult a doctor. Nail Removal For a more severe ingrown toenail redness, pain, and pus, your doctor may trim or remove the ingrown portion of the nail. Before this procedure, your doctor may temporarily numb your toe by injecting it with an anesthetic. Removing the nail and tissue. If you have the problem repeatedly on the same toe, your doctor may suggest removing a portion of the nail along with the underlying tissue. This procedure may prevent that part of your nail from growing back. Your doctor will use a chemical, a laser, or other methods.